today is actually record today's webinar and then um, <clears throat> I'll email it to you. So if you're not a real good note taker, not a real big deal. Not a real big deal because you'll be able to watch it again. How's that sound? My name is Chris Silvade. I'm the founder of Simple Listing Solutions and we're on my website over here at simplelistingsolutions.com. We're going to leave here and we're going to go talk about loading your boat with short sale listings. But you know what? Loading your boat with listings. 2014 is just weeks away, and I want to give you guys some solid, concrete plans that you can leave here with today and know going forward confidently. I mean, I don't know if don't you shouldn't be slowing down for the holidays right now either. Now is a great time to go list properties right now. A lot of agents say, "Oh, the holidays coming up, nobody's doing anything." Not true, not true. So anyway, I'm gonna. Uh, my intention uh, again is for you guys to leave here in an hour. Uh, I'm gonna. Put together a real good training for you. You're going to leave here excited about um, knowing. You know, you know, you, it's like you know. You go look. I can do this, and it works. It's not. Oh, that sounds like it'll work. It works. I'm not, I, I didn't reinvent the wheel. I'm not here to show you guys a wheel that I reinvented today. I'm here to show you some plans that will get you listings if you're a top producer, if you're brand new in the business. Okay. And what I want you to know first and foremost is that while I've got some killer tools and training that can really help grease the tracks and make it easy or easier right for you to get short sale listings probate listings divorce listings senior sellers that are downsizing listings right the riches are in the niches you guys expireds fisbos right orchestrating referrals <clears throat> right understanding as a marketer with a real estate license that the riches are in the niches. You don't help people sell homes. That's way too broad. What kind of people do you help? What kind of homes do you sell? To the degree that you're able to speak that language and find those people, you can really kill it in this business. Right. So what my intention again today is I'm gonna, when you leave here, I want you to be to a much greater degree a marketer with a real estate license. Interest in everything on all my student loans, I probably ended up paying about $60,000 for my formal education in uh, ad copy, copywriting, marketing, stuff like that. And then eight years traveling the country with a guy by the name of Joe Stumpf, right? If you guys don't know Joe, you really ought to. He's a phenomenal, he's a deli deli delightful, <laughs> he's a dialogue skills sort of trainer, helps you get referrals. Uh, Brian Buffini comes out of his big organization. Amazing guy. I sold him a couple million dollar homes. He's an amazing real estate client too, right? But so when I traveled the country meeting tens of thousands of realtors and getting to form deep relationships with a lot of them, seven figure income earners, I learned the code. I cracked the code and I went, oh, this is how real estate works and not just real estate. This is how everything works. So I'm going to show you guys today why you don't need Simple Listing Solutions and Chris. I can help you out a lot, right? And I'd love to join your team, but you don't need me. You don't need Joe Stumpf. You don't need Brian Buffini. You don't need Brian Tracy, Howard Britton, Tom Ferry, Mike Ferry. You don't need CDPE. You don't need Program 3648. You don't need, you know, Realtor.com, Trulia, Zillow. You don't need, you don't need that stuff. You don't need those guys. You don't need a coach sitting somewhere with a set of headphones on who knows what's like, like page 250. Turn to page 258 of your workbook. Have you listened to the 97 hours of CDs yet? You don't need that. Right. Can Craig Proctor help you? Sure. He's got some cool tools. Can Joe? Of course. He's got some great dialogue skills training. But what do you need to go list properties? Put your credit card back in your pocket. And just hang out with me for an hour right now and listen. And it'll resonate with you as being truthful. Right. It's not this guy's not selling me stuff. Yeah, he's going to you guys know when you go to a webinar or seminar, of course, they sell you stuff. I couldn't be in business if I wasn't selling my stuff. But I, you know, take it or leave it. Right. Let's put that aside and let's talk about realtor to realtor because I'm a realtor also getting listings. Boy, I had a great conversation with one of my clients this morning before I came on here. So I'm super excited to talk to you guys. I'm going to come over here. and I'm going to put down this pen. If you can't tell, by the way. Also. Uh, just so you know, we're just getting started. So for those of you who just logged in, you haven't missed um, you haven't missed any techniques yet for getting listings. I'm going to show you guys some tools and strategies. But uh, look around on your computer desktops, and if you do see a little arrow icon that you could click on, and it'll open up a dialog box. If you see that, I'd like to ask you guys to just say hello, type hello from your city, and hit enter. Send that over to me. And then what that does is it lets me know that you can hear me nice and clear and you guys can see my screen. You can see this, you know, this stuff happening here. Right? 
I, I know you can because it says you can see my screen. It looks like I'm generating sound, but um, you guys may or may not have that functionality set up today. If you do, send me a message. I, there's 27 people on here. Nobody's sent a message yet, so you may not. Okay, so let's get moving. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to open up a PowerPoint presentation here. It's going to be really raw, and that's because I'm playing with it all the time. I'm just changing stuff, and that's okay because right now we're having a realtor-to-realtor -realtor conversation. We're all hanging out at uh, Pete's Coffee or a Starbucks or something like that. We're taking off our realtor hats, and we're putting on our marketer hats, right? And we're always relating human to human, right? There's Forget the ego right now. We're not competitors. We're just people hanging out, talking about how to thrive and go solve people's real estate problems because that's what we do. All right. So list, list, list. I began this webinar saying the riches are in the niches like divorce, probate, short sales, senior sellers, downsizing, right, FISBOs, expireds, referrals. Those are niches and that's where your riches lie. Right. You can say you can do a thousand letter mass mail, thousand letters to a bunch of strangers who don't know me, don't trust me, don't like me, never heard of me before, and I didn't get a response. Well, there's no surprise. Or I have an agent say, hey, I sent 11 letters out. I got two listings. 11 letters. Wow. Who are you mailing to? Oh, I was mailing to people going through divorce whose real estate assets were underwater. So they were a divorce short sale. Right. And I sent them letters in a little envelope, you know, that positioned myself as a short sale expert and also being a Reda real estate divorce advisor, letting them know that, listen, if they're going through a divorce and they've got real estate assets to split, that's difficult enough. But when the thing is also underwater, that's a real challenge. Why they need somebody like me on their team. Right. So I can go digging in those kinds of niches and I can build my list, take some research and then I put that letter, bam, 11 letters, two listings. Right. So you guys understand right now, because I want to teach you to be marketers with a real estate license. Okay. So understand, first and foremost, the riches are in the niches. Today we're going to talk about short sales, but the strategies I'm going to share with you apply across the field. Okay. All right. So again, my name is Chris Silvade. I'm the founder of Simple Listing Solutions. And I've got a partner, David Strelitz, and he's a PhD computer programmer from outer space. He can land your smartphone on the moon. And we've got a little real estate think tank. And we've created a giant toolbox of letters and postcards and Craigslist ads and Facebook plugins and websites and squeeze pages and ebooks and all kinds of stuff, right? To position you, the realtor, as RETA certified, right? That's a real estate divorce advisor or CRESA certified. What's that? Well, that's a that's a certified uh, real estate seniors advisor that helps seniors downsize, right? Or a foreclosure alternatives advisor, right? Or a certified short sale advisor. I don't use nomenclatures like CDPE because people don't know what that means unless they happen to be a realtor who paid for the program themselves, right? I'm a marketer with the real estate license. I get it that, hey, cool, 900 bucks, come to a three-day program, learn a bunch of stuff, and buy a designation called something that will only mean things to my colleagues. Right? That's cool, but that's not guerrilla marketing, right? That's not thinking like a marketer. I'm going to show you guys how to think like a marketer in any business, but we're going to apply it to real estate today. So how to have your best year ever every year. Let's talk about crushing it in 2014 because it's right around the corner. All right. It always starts with this fundamental understanding, this truth. It's the most powerful truth in, in life, particularly as it applies to a real estate career. All right. This is a tree and it's an apple tree. And as a real estate license, I've got to have an apple orchard as a real estate license. As a real estate professional, I need to have an apple orchard. So do you. We all need to have our own apple orchards that we farm. Okay. And an apple orchard is not real apple trees. It's relationships with people. All right. In this case, this is Tom the tree, right? This is Tom the tree. And in Tom's branches, that's all these apples. Those are people that Tom knows that I don't know. Right? Those are Tom's friends. Those are Tom's colleagues. Those are Tom's relatives. Right? So Tom the tree, this one tree, he's got, he's got a bunch of relationships, a bunch of people I don't know. I'd like to. I'd like to. Because I'll tell you what, as a Reda real estate divorce advisor or CRESA, right? A certified res, uh, real estate seniors advisor or foreclosure alternative advisor or probate expert, there's people up in Tom's branches that in 2014, they're going to buy a house, they're going to sell a house, they're going to move up, they're going to move out, somebody's going to die, there's going to be a probate, there's going to be a short, there's got to be something going on, right? 
And by the way, if I were in the business of farming some apple orchards and letting Tom the Tree know that I'm Cressa, I'm Red, I'm Foreclosure Alternative Advisor, I can help people save their homes for free, right? Then and, and Tom, thank you for not keeping me a secret. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I could go out into my apple orchard two or three times a month and bang on this tree, hey, Tom, you're not keeping me a secret, are you? Oh, no, no, I'm listening for conversations up here in my branches. And as soon as I hear a conversation about divorce or probate or short sale or FISBO or move up or move out, you got me pretty trained, Chris. You know, you're banging on me three times a month. As soon as I hear a conversation, I'll let you know. Thanks, Tom the tree. Right. How many trees do I need? Ten. Think about it. Apple orchard with 10 toms. How many apples are up in 10 trees? <laughs> like 500. How many referrals do I need a month to thrive? Right. So I just showed you guys with a picture of some apples hanging from a tree, a little system for orchestrating referrals, not putting a little I love referral sticker on my card and taking a nap in the middle of the apple orchard and waiting for an apple to land in your mouth because that's not a system. Right. Now I made it kind of, I left some stuff out. You're like, well, you just said bang the tree. You said, Chris, we should understand that people aren't people, they're trees. And up in the branches of people, there's a bunch of people that we need to access. Right. And that we ought to position ourselves as, as someone who can serve expert niches. And that we ought to have a way of communicating that message to our, to our trees several times a month. Right. So that they listen to their apple branch conversations and refer us people. Right, you guys got that. Okay. Pretty good little story, huh? So I'm gonna erase all these drawings here and we're just gonna go over here and I'm gonna just show you representation of what your business can look like as an apple farmer when you learn how to bang on your trees. Right. What are your trees? Past clients, friends, family, people in and around your county who know you, like you, trust you. Maybe they bought a house from you, maybe they didn't, but they know you and they like you. Right. And their adult age, they have a job and they know people. Those are all trees. Right. So you say, Chris, I know a bunch. Which ones do I begin with? How many trees do you really need? Pick the top 10. Pick the top 20. Right. 25 trees in your apple orchard. That's a good size little orchard. 25 trees in your orchard. If you're working it properly, that ought to be sending you three listings a month. Right. And then if you knew how to leverage that inventory, because the purpose of a listing is to get another one, that's not just three listings a month now. Right, because three listings a month, that's 36 deals a year. But if you're leveraging that inventory with a simple little system that doesn't cost pennies, you don't need Craig Proctor, Joe Stump, Brian Buffini, me. You don't need you know, Program 3648, CDPE certificate. You don't need that stuff. You just need to know how to leverage, first of all, people, apple trees, how to leverage apple trees. right? And then when you get listings, how to leverage listings. Right? Leverage is free. Leverage is called picking up a stick and putting it over a rock and then using your weight to push on the end of that stick to lift that heavy thing. You don't need, a, you don't need to call Charlie's Tractor Service right? if you've got a stick and a rock. And you all have sticks and rocks right? built in. We come that way. So here's our job. Think about this. I'm going to plant some trees here. Our job is to go out, like I just showed you, into our own apple orchard. Right. Our own, your friends, your friends. I can't compete with you against your own friends. Your past clients, you already worked with them. You got a head start advantage of, of, of any other realtor on those people. Right. So who is your apple orchard? Right. And now are you going out into your apple orchard once a month or twice a month or three times a month and yelling up into the branches? Who do you know? Divorce? I can help. Probate, I've got two killer options. Underwater on their home loan, pff, I've got free loan modification assistance. We can help. i got guys on my team that are experts. Are you familiar with HARP 2.0? It's free. Nothing to sell them. Give me a call. Right. Are you doing that? Because to the degree that you're doing that, you're making it rain. Apples, right? They're falling out and hitting you. You're like, whoa, you got to wear a helmet when you go out there and do that. Or are you calling, you know, looking for a stranger? Oh, man, I'm just like looking for it. Why are you doing, why are you go looking at strangers and pacing the hallway, you know, talking to your TC and hanging around a water fountain and looking for a seminar when you've got an apple orchard out there covering weeds because you haven't been out there picking the weeds and watering, right? So, um, you guys, I just want to leave you with that story because learning how to orchestrate referrals, it's critical, number one. Not wait for referrals or hope for referrals, orchestrate referrals. It's critical to a real estate career that's built on, that's going to thrive, right? Put braces on your kids' teeth and pay for their college, make your car payments, buy you new homes, take vacations. You've got to learn how to orchestrate 
referrals. You got to be a rainmaker. You got to be a top producer mindset. Hey, I, I don't wait for stuff. I go and I make it happen. Right. And so, you know, I talk to top producers all the time. I have this conversation with them and then they kick themselves because they're like, Chris, I know, man, I've got like 3,000 past clients. I don't do anything. I send them an e-newsletter. Oh, right. And it's so generic. It doesn't do position me as anything. I know. I hear it all the time. Right. I, I can't sell you guys a habit. I wish I could. If I could sell you habits, you'd buy them all day long. Here, I'm going to give you a habit of sending this to people twice a month. Oh, wow, how much for the habit, right? You guys would buy that stuff. So, all right. Now, here's what happens when we go out and we yell up into the branches once or twice or three times a month, right? They fill our bucket with apples. How do we yell up into the branches of our apple orchard? We could do it with a newsletter. We could do it with a note card. We could do it with a phone call. We could go knock on their doors. There's 25 of them. Right, we could pick up the phone, we could call them once a month. Okay. If we picked up the phone and called our twenty-five trees once a month, that's one bang. Bang. What do you say? Hey, listen, just a quick little call. You know, you're probably used to this call, we've been doing it once a month, put a bug in your ear. Um, if you know anybody going, you know, da, da, da. you know, thank you, good talking to you. Thanks for not keeping me a secret. Oh, you have a great day. Did you get my newsletter this month? Okay, goodbye. Click. Right. They'll get used to it. You're a pro. Right. So if you were doing that, that's one bang. That's walking up to the trees once a month and going bang, trying to get an apple to fall out. Okay, what else are you going to do? Newsletter, Chris. I'm going to send them a newsletter, a really cool one. All right, cool. But when they get the newsletter, what is it? Well, it's a direct response newsletter. It's got to get a free home value report. It's got like this stuff in it. All right, that's cool. That's a good little poke on the tree because it reminds them of you, keeps you on their radar screen. You know, you could probably spice it up by inserting a handwritten note into the newsletter, though, that says, hey, you know, tells them something. Now that's a bigger bang. So a phone call and a newsletter or something like that, that's cool. You got an apple orchard twice a month, you got some apples falling out of the tree. All right. So here's a little system, you guys, that you can all do and you don't need me or anybody. You just need to think differently. You need to change the station between years and say, oh yeah, people are apple trees. And if you don't like apples, they're orange groves, right? Strawberry fields, whatever. Right. <laughs> Newsletters and note cards and letters. I can send things like that right, to my apple orchard. Right. There's only 10 of them. What can the postage be on 10? Not much. Right. Chris, can I send an e-newsletter? No, that's you trying to escape from forming a new habit. Anybody can send an e-newsletter. Should you do it? Yeah, sure. Send it along with the printed one. Right. Because just know that the e one is going to get deleted. A lot of them. Right. That's like the door hanger you leave on the front door. It's thrown away. A lot of them. Right. So if you want to execute at a higher level, because that's the difference between top producers and everybody else, it's not IQ, it's execution. Right. Some people knock on doors and some people knock on doors and kill it. What's the difference? The guy across the street, he's really executing at a higher level. His dialogue skill, he's dialed in. And he's not self, you know, he's not self-destructing. He's not going out at a time when people aren't home. He's going out when they're home. And when they're not home, he's not just walking away, right? And he's not leaving junk. He's writing a note. He's leaving a handwritten note at the door. But he knows how to convert. He knows how to execute the same task of knocking on doors at a much higher level. Right? He knows how to execute the same task of sending something through the mail at a much higher level. So, you guys, people are doing the same things out there. It's just they're doing low-level execution or high-level execution on the same things to get listings, just so you know. right? In Florida and in, to California and everywhere in between, we're all the same, us realtors. Right. Nobody has a secret bullet. Oh, yeah, I used to do Joe Stomp. Good. So everybody used to do Joe Stomp. So you get some good dialogue skills out of that. Yeah, great. Still doing it sometimes. Right. I did Craig Proctor, too. How'd that go? Everybody's doing stuff. Right. But And it's all generally kind of the same. Right. So what I'm doing is I'm boiling all the stuff down for you guys to show you. Right. Just let's just get down to the Chris. Just get me down to the bedrock foundation concrete stuff. Right. Without all the fluff. So how do you communicate to your app orchard? You figure it out. I'm going to suggest newsletter, note cards, phone calls, handwritten notes, envelope, boom, 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 nothing, you know, there you go. So if you delivered three purposeful communications to your Apple team, your A team, your Apple orchard every 30 days, you'd be getting the minimum two deals a month, just so you guys know that. Right. Newsletter, note, card, phone call. Newsletter, note, card, phone call. That's a system that's so simple, you could almost train a monkey to do it. Newsletter, note, card, phone call. Especially if somebody made you the newsletter and said, here's your newsletter. All you have to do is send it to your apple orchard. Then, you, and, and if you were able to create the habit called, hey, I'll print it and send it, 
Like that's the hard part. That's where the breakdown always occurs. Execution. Chris, I love your newsletter. I just, you know, I know I haven't been sending it. Why? I don't know. I thought you, I mean, you're giving me money. You signed up. Why aren't you sending the newsletter to your apple orchard? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either, right? I don't know either. But if you did newsletter, note card, phone call, right, you'd be generating two deals a month from an apple orchard of 25 people on average, right? What kind of deals would you be generating? Well, what kind of deals are you asking for? Right. In your newsletter, note cards, phone calls. Are you letting people know that you're a foreclosure alternatives advisor who helps people save their homes for free? You'd be getting short sale listings. Right. Are you every once in a while reminding people that you're meta certified, you're a real estate divorce advisor. So if they know anybody going through that unfortunate situation, hey, thanks for not keeping you a secret. You could probably help them if they've got real estate assets involved in the, in the breakup. You know, you could probably help. That's the kind of thing people remember because it puts you in a niche. Are you reminding your app orchard that with newsletter, note card, phone call? If you were, you'd be getting referral listings, like people get divorced. Who knows a realtor who specializes in divorce? I don't, but my friend does. I'm all over it. Right. Are you reminding people your Apple Orchard probate? I got two killer options. Overnight cash, we can get this deal done, zero commissions, zero repairs, zero nothing. You're out of here with cash, right? Or I can get your top dollar. Take a little bit longer, right? But uh, check it out. Oh, I didn't know. Pro oh. Right. So what are you communicating to your Apple Orchard newsletter, note card, phone call, or whatever your system is, smoke signal, door knock, you know, beep, beep, I don't know, text message, right? You decide, right? So that's a system I just showed you guys, right? For orchestrating referrals from a group of people every month and not hanging out waiting. Because when you hang out and wait, you get two a year. When you do this, something like this, you got, all of a sudden you got 12, 15 transactions a year. And when you do what I show you momentarily, then you convert those 12, 15 transactions into 20, 25 transactions, right? You understand the purpose of a listing is to get another one. So far, so good. Okay. So um, look at this. This is just a, 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 a community. It's a letter. It's a letter, right? How long does it take to type a letter? It's like three basic paragraphs. But it took a while because it's a very thoughtful, thought out letter. I didn't just da 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 da. I sat down and I thought, what do I want to communicate to my apple orchard? Dear friends, finally, finally, banks and mortgage lenders have begun to modify underwater home loans at the fastest pace since the housing market meltdown. The state's attorneys general's lawsuits have finally begun to have an effect, and banks are trying desperately to avoid more fines and penalties. Do you know friends, fam, uh, family, or colleagues still underwater on their home mortgage or facing foreclosure? I can help. My services are 100% free. Thanks for not keeping me a secret. Right? That's intentional. That's purposeful. Right? If I take that letter, right? If I take that letter and I insert it into my newsletter before I mail the newsletter out to my apple orchard, so they open up my newsletter, they go, "Oh, I love this newsletter. It's got like rattlesnake tequila recipe, a high tech computer, little section, fun games to play, cool stuff. Get a free home value report. I can check out the free books that Chris wrote on. Man, this guy wrote books. He's good. Right? And this letter falls out of it every month. Right? What's the letter say this month? I always read them because they're only a couple of short paragraphs and they're handwritten letters. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, banks, wow, I, yeah, I do know my mom, oh, check it out, Chris is a foreclosure alternatives advisor and a certified short sale advisor, right, hmm, so now my newsletter is not just a newsletter, it's actually a delivery vehicle for a message I stick on the inside of it, once a month, bam, I'm banging on my tree, don't keep me a secret, don't forget, right, Right. Two weeks later, they get a little cheap little note card. I make it on a piece of paper. I make 50. Oh, send them out. It's so cheap. Right? Phone call. It's so easy. This stuff's easy once you create the habit. Right? Dear friends, if you know someone who wants to sell their home, I'm pretty sure I know someone who wants to buy it. Can you connect us? <laughs> Just a reminder that I can help anybody you know get top dollar in this market with a unique and powerful selling strategy. Want to know how it works? Call me anytime and I'll be happy to explain this great way for sellers to rest assured they're getting the highest and best possible price for their home. Thanks for not keeping me a secret, Chris. Oh, wow. Right? I mean, hey, <laughs> notes, right? Fast, easy, boom. Right? Letters. So 2014, you guys, it's the year of relationships. 
it's the year to say, you know what, I'm all about, I'm in real estate, I'm in direct sales, I need to be like running for governor, I need to be out there shaking hands, smiling, meeting people, right, in my farm area, if that's what I'm doing, if I'm knocking on doors, if I'm knocking on NODs, I'm going to show you guys how to do that here momentarily, right, but mailing, communicating, talking to, I need to be out there generating new relationships all the time, right, X amount per day if I want to be doing my, you know, doing good numbers, right, and so we're going to talk about that. So some key success ideas for 2014, open houses, open houses, open houses put you in front of people, right? Put you in front of people looking for houses, but more in front, more in front of neighborhood homeowners. Who comes to your open houses? Neighborhood homeowners, right? If you execute at a very low level, you put an open house sign out, you know what? A, a neighborhood homeowner is going to stumble in anyway. If you execute at a high level called, yeah, I walked around to 100 doors, around my listing and I handed them an open house flyer and I met them face to face. I said, come on by the open house today. I'm having free lemonade and hot dog. Check out what they did in the backyard. It's a great chance to pick your neighbor. And then I put signs all over the place, way more than I need with balloons, right? So it looks like ringing, you know, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus has come to town with my name on everything. And I knocked on all those doors. Well, then guess what? A whole bunch of neighborhood homeowners come over. And you know what they're thinking to themselves? Wow, this realtor is really getting it done. Look at their open house. They got out, they came, they knocked, we met them, seemed pretty cool, they got this stuff. Wow. Right? Think they're noticing me? Yeah. What's the purpose of a listing? To get another one. So what's the purpose of an open house? To meet all the neighborhood homeowners and make them fall in love with you. You know, buyers are allowed to stumble in. Sure, come on in. But that's not what your open house is for. Right? You guys change your thinking. It's just like dialing the station over a couple digits between your ears. Oh. Oh, man, I always thought open houses were to, for buyers. <laughs> Nothing preventing them from coming, sure. Right, but no. <laughs> Door knocking. That's a great way to go get listings. If you know how to execute at a high level, what do you say when they open the door? And when they don't open the door, which is most of the time, what do you leave behind? Right, so you're not wasting your time. Right, that's called executing at a high level. My broker went out yesterday morning. He knocked on 125 doors in his farm area. Why is it his farm area? Because he's got three listings in there right now. One of them is a property that he's flipping. It's about a half a mile from my house, right across the golf course. Right? Million dollar homes. He says, Chris, I knocked on 125 doors. And I said, okay, because he's one of my clients too. He's my broker. I said, okay, Mike, well, let's talk about that. 125 doors, huh? How many people has he talked to? <laughs> Ten. Okay, so 125 doors, that means 115 people didn't even open the door. All right, so you talk to 10 people out of those 10 people. How many are you going to follow up with? He said, three. I said, all right, tell me about the three. Well, he said, one of them is a realtor. He's got a listing coming up in the neighborhood for a million one, and he asked me if I would co-list it with them. I said, well, you're crazy. What? Why? He said, well, because he sees all my listings in the neighborhood. He knows I dominated around here. He's like, hey, you could, you know, he asked me to. I'm going to. I said, okay, great. <laughs> that's, a good, that, that's a good result of door knocking. What else? He said, I met a woman. She said, I'm not going to sell anytime soon, but I've seen your stuff. When I do, I would certainly be open to working with you, and I like your stuff. And so I'm going to put it on my newsletter list. And I said, well, what's the third guy? He said, this cranky guy, million-dollar house. I couldn't even get to the front door. I rang the, the, the bell, right? Didn't come outside to the gate. So I left. And then when I was walking by, again, he came outside in his bathrobe, and he had the thing hanging around his neck. It looked like a button on it for when you fall down, you know, an emergency button. And he says to me, is that what you do? You go around putting stuff on people's door? <laughs> and I smiled at him. I said, hey, sir, I'm really sorry if I inconvenienced you. My name's Mike Daniels with Rancho Coastal Realty. I've got a listing down the street. And it, you know, if you know anybody that wants to move into the neighborhood, it's a great chance to pick your new neighbors. And I just wanted to leave you a, a, some information about the property. Again, I'm sorry if I inconvenienced you. And he said, Chris, you should have seen the guy shrink about a foot and turn around and say, oh, okay, okay, and shuffle into his house feeling kind of like a schmuck with my information. And now, Chris, I'm going to do what you said. I'm going to send a thank you card to all these people. Hey, it was nice meeting you today. Thanks for your time at the front door. And to that particular guy, I'm going to say, I'm sorry I bothered you. I'm going to put a little Starbucks thing in there. Go have a latte on me. Right. So, hey, he is executing at a very high level in his little farm area around his listings. That's how he's got those other million-dollar listings. Right. So door knocking is a great way to get listings when you know how to convert when they open the door. Hi, my name's Chris. I'm a foreclosure alternatives advisor with Keller Williams. There's a little book I put together called How to Save Your Home, Not Get Ripped Off and Get Paid Thousands of Dollars in the Process. You know, it may or may not apply to you guys, but I know you know somebody at work or in the neighborhood would love to have this information with you. Can I leave you a couple of these and ask you to think about, okay, thank you, bye. Like, that's great dialogue. Oh, wow, what's this? <laughs> it's for you. Share with people. 
right? Networking groups in 2014, go get plugged in, meet up. It's a great way to meet a bunch of people and meet up and let them know that you're a foreclosure alternative advisor. Let them know, right? BNI, that's another networking group. Volunteering, senior centers, church, coaching soccer, little league, language lessons, because you've got a unique ability to do that at the library. You guys, the more you plug in with people that you don't know in 2014 and introduce yourself in a way that you're providing some sort of value because you're volunteering. Oh, I like you. You're volunteering. What do you do? Well, I'm a real estate agent. Oh, that's nice. And you volunteer. Wow. I already like you. Good. If you know anybody that knows more on their home than it's worth, I happen to be a foreclosure alternatives advisor. Well, I do know people. Oh, great. That's where listings come from. They come from relationships. They don't come from Craigslist. <laughs> listings don't come from the internet. That's where buyers come from. Buyers, they'll bury you. You can get them off the internet all day long. That's why. Stuff that you can get free and easy, yeah, okay. It's usually, you know, that's because it's free and easy. It's easy to get buried in buyers and make $4.50 an hour. Right. But that's not, it's not easy to get buried in listings from the internet. That's why it's not happening. Right. People that are getting buried in listings, it's because they got a, they got a lot of past clients that they're staying in touch with. Number one. Number two, they're out walking, knocking, talking. They're cold calling expireds. They're cold calling FISBOs. They're cold calling NODs. And they've got some good dialogue skills that they're mailing to those people. Right. That's what they're doing. It's called work. Right. But they know how to do it at a higher level than other people. Right. So reestablishing purposeful and intentional, consistent communications with your past clients and your center of influence in 2014, it's going to be a huge thing for you. So most of you are going to have to reestablish those relationships because you haven't been sending them anything. Right. I'm going to show you how to make it easy. But here's the key. Execution plus leverage equals success. You can't miss. Right. Execution, execute at a high level, have good dialogue skills, right? Leave a good note when they're not there that they go, what? And they call, right? Leverage your relationships, leverage your inventory. If you do those things, you can't not succeed in real estate, right? And then stop selling, right? Stop selling. Oh, rates are low. Now is the time. That's the kind of language that I see agents, they put on postcards and door hangers and stuff. And that, that, that's the kind of stuff that turns, they, don't, they won't listen to it. Right? Your job is not to sell people on the idea of doing something. Right? Listen to this carefully, you guys. This is worth $100,000. Your job is not to sell people on the idea of doing something. Your job is to get in front of people who need to do something, right? There's a very clear distinction there. Don't sell people on the idea of doing something. Get in front of people who need to do something and be the person who helps people do that thing that they need to do. There's a big difference there. Salespeople, they're going out there trying to sell people on the idea of something. Consultants, they're getting in front of people who need to do something and offering their advice and services. And they're, <laughs> and they're being asked to provide them. There's a big, big difference, right? So start focusing on getting in front of people who are going to be buying or they're going to be selling regardless and then have language that's attractive. I'm Cressa, right? I'm Retta. I'm a foreclosure alternatives advisor. I got free services. I got people on my team. We can help. No problem. Oh, wow, right? You're not breathing commission breath on people. You're getting in front of people who need your help, and you've got the help. Right? You guys want to go farm? Here's a powerful little tool. Right? I'm not going to go into that tool right there. Right? Um, in fact, I'm not going to go through this. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave here right now because we got some good stuff right there. Um, you know, anatomy of a referral. Right? You guys need to understand this. There's some science here, and then I'm going to go show you some tools. There's some real science here that I just want to share with you. You're my colleagues. We're all real estate brothers and sisters. Uh, you're not any competition to me. I'm, I'm out here on the West Coast, and I've got a good business, right? And we're not even any competition to each other. And I love to be of service to you guys. If, if you'll find that in time if you hang around me. Um, I like to give. <laughs> and so I've got something for you here, right? Anatomy of a referral. Just understanding this can change your career, right? For a referral to occur, Right. Someone has to notice a conversation about real estate is occurring. Who has to notice? Tom the tree. 
right? These conversations, they're weaved into stories about divorce, new babies, job transfer, promotion, death in the family, all very common conversations. But for a referral to occur, Tom the tree has to notice that the conversation is happening, right? You guys got that, right? So conversation happening and Susan, right, the tree, she goes, oh, divorce, really? You guys just bought that house and you've got those condos out in Palm Desert that you keep running out. Right? That's what Susan, right? Oh, right. So a conversation occurs and Susan has to notice. Susan's not going to notice if she didn't know, if she wasn't hearing from you consistently, she's not going to remember you, right? And if she didn't know, oh, yeah, and real estate, and divorce, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Susan has to be able to put that connection together. She won't if you're not reminding her. So, again, for a referral to occur, someone has to notice a conversation about real estate is occurring, okay? They got to notice. And then, oh, yeah, there's a real estate conversation happening here. And I know someone, they have to think of you. Why would they think of you? Because you're banging the tree three times a month. Otherwise, they're not thinking of you. You know, your little sticker that says, I love referrals, that's not enough. Okay, so now they're thinking of you. Hey, I know someone. You know, that's what has to happen. It's a three-step process, right? <laughs> they got to do something, right? So a conversation has to occur. They have to think of you, and then they have to take action. It's not hard to take action to connect someone to you when they hear from you three times a day. They get your newsletter every month. They get a note card. They get a phone call. Yeah, I know how to connect with them. It's easy, right? So that's the anatomy of a referral, you guys. It's not hanging out and waiting, right? It's orchestrating. Bang, 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 right? So um, I wanted to share that with you, and I wanted to show you. Here's a little tool that I make. It's a business card. It says, you can sell your home for less than you owe the bank, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, and get your lender to pay all the sales costs for free. Let me show you how. Right. It's got my designation on there, certified short sale advisor. For your free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales, just visit my website. Right. And then I can have my Remax balloon on the other side. Right. That's a pretty powerful business card. Let me show you how to save your home for free. Right. So those are tools. That's a smart tool. So in this case, you could say, hey, okay, that's a reason to join a Craig Proctor, Joe Stump, Chris Silveta type dude. They've got cool tools. And now that I know how to use them, they make sense. Right. Right. Having tools like that. Right. So that's the anatomy of a referral. I'm going to leave this now because I could that thing goes on all day and we could get into all kinds of stuff. But I want to take you over here. Right. And I would just want to walk you guys through some stuff. This is going to be cool. Here's one of my websites. Right. In this website, I can push buttons and change the color, change the brokerage, change the pages, build pages. I can do anything I want to it. Right. This website in this version happens to say, now you can rest assured your 4S ranch, my farm area, your 4S ranch home sells for top dollar with a powerful marketing strategy designed for markets just like the one we're in right now. Warning, got money to burn. <laughs> Many real estate salespeople would be happy to sell your home quickly and move on down the road, right? But you're going to lose a bunch of money going that route. Warning, right? So that's what this page is about right now and it's talking to people in 4S ranch. Right, I got a bunch of things for people in Forest Ranch in here, including recent Forest Ranch sales, Forest Ranch homeowner services, Forest Ranch nosy neighbors. You better know about them. Forest Ranch expired listings, Forest Ranch fizzbos. Right. I also position myself over here at Forest Ranch as a real estate divorce advisor. Right. There's my certification down there. And what does that mean to you? It's important. Probate. Right. All that stuff. I push a couple buttons though, and I turn it into a short sale website. Right. This one says, right, if you owe more than your Orlando uh, area home or investment property is worth and can't afford the payments, I'll help you save it or get paid to avoid foreclosure through free government refinance, loan modification, and short sale programs. Right. Did you know Bank of America is paying up to $45,000 in relocation assistance to delinquent homeowners cooperating in short sales? Yeah, not everybody, some people. Right. Citibank, Chase, they all pay money. Not to everybody, some people. So there's cash available out there to some people. Right? And if there's money available to you, I'm going to fight like a pit bull to go get it. Right? But first, I'm going to see if I can help you save your home because i got people on my team. Right? i got like my HARP 2.0 loan modification advisor over here. He can help you guys. Right? You want to sue your lender? I know an attorney. Right? You want to go litigation route? You can do that. Right? You can do that. Deed in lieu of foreclosure, you want to study that option. You want to know what a deficiency judgment is? Not a problem. Get $45,000 to short sale. What? Let's click on that. Bank of America pays up to $45,000 of relocation assistance to underwater homeowners to short sale and avoid foreclosure. How much will your lender pay? I'll help you stay in your home as long as possible and fight to get you cash for your fresh start. What am I speaking to? Their greed and their desire to stay in their home. 
we would all have it. Right? And what am I leading with? Hey, that's if I can't help you save your home through a loan mod or a harp. Right? I'm leading with what they want. They can watch a video and they can meet me talk about this stuff. I'm not making this information up. Look, New York, CNN, Bank of America is offering some struggling homeowners payments of up to 30 grand, which has since increased to 45. Right? It's a true story. And by the way, while you're over here, get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Fighting Foreclosure, Tips, Tools, and Tactics for Battling Your Bank. Right? So on this website over here, right, this is just a demo site. I don't live in Orlando, Florida. But on this website over here, right, I'm speaking to, if I go back to the homepage, Right. Uh, I'm in Orlando, Florida. Right. And I'm letting people know if you owe more than your Orlando home is worth, I can help you. Right. Get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. And, you know, if you're in Orlando, Florida, or let's say we were in Miami, I don't know. You know, let's say we're in Miami. You might want to come over here and translate this to um, uh, Cubano. Right. And say, hey, translate. We're down in Miami. No problem. Right. There you go. Uh, that's Quib. Quibuano, I don't know what that is, but uh, no, we wouldn't want to do that. That's not Cubano. We would just probably want to go to like Spanish maybe. Oh, no. And, yeah, yeah. There we go. Boom. Right? We just translate it. I'm going to get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales in Spanish. I've got that too. <laughs> I've got that too. Right? So let me explain something powerful. You guys don't get lost here because you can say, oh, that's a cool website. People can, wow. All right, let's go back to original English. You can say, oh, wow, people can get a book, The Homeowner's Guide to Short Sales, Free Home Value Report. They can sue their lender, HARP 2.0, loan modification, right? Do I have that page set up? Let's go look. Yeah, here we go. Oh, more than your home is worth, can't afford the payments. I'll help you refi under the government HARP 2.0 program and reduce your monthly payments by 50% so you can keep your home for free. It's a lot to say real fast. Popped in a little video right here. I need to go in here and put a little space bar there and push it down a little bit. Real easy. But this is my mortgage guy, Tom Jacobs. Don't talk to me about a HARP 2.0 refi. I don't do them. I'm a realtor. Go talk to him. Right? And you know what he's going to tell you? Sorry, you don't qualify. Have you talked to Chris about a short sale? I mean, seven out of ten times. Three out of ten times he's going to say, woohoo, you qualify. Yeah. And I'm going to say the same thing too because it saves their home and they get to refi and that's great. And then they're an advocate of me, and I'm their realtor for life because I referred them to Tom who saved their home. But seven out of ten of them, Tom's going to say, sorry, you don't qualify. And then they're going to say, well, what do we don't do to you, Mr. Third-Party Neutral Advisor, who's not breathing commission break down our face to sell our house? What do we do? He's going to say, well, <laughs> I think the only option you guys have to avoid a foreclosure is a short sale, and you may be able to get paid in the process. Have you guys spoken to Chris? Uh, no. Well, you know he wrote the book on short sales. Yeah. You talk to Chris. Oh, right. It's a symbiotic relationship, right? I need, this is an arrow that I have in my quiver. When I see a loan modification minnow, I don't scare them off with short sale language. They don't want to talk to me, right? I'd scare them away with a short sale. I can't pull out a short sale arrow and shoot a loan mod, like a short sale salmon arrow. I can't shoot that into a loan mod minnow. It'll blow them apart, right? I have to have a loan mod minnow arrow. Hey, loan mod minnow. You know, I got a guy that helps you modify your loan for free, free service. He's the best guy in the county. He's on my team. Here's my card. Go to my website and click on the HARP 2.0 free help page. You're going to meet Tom. He can help you guys. Oh, thank you. There goes the minnow. He'll come back as a salmon in a couple weeks after he talks to Tom. Right? So, um, <laughs> pretty cool. Right? Let's, uh, you know, this is a lot of stuff to cover here. A lot of stuff. I get forty-five thousand dollars to short sale. You guys saw that page. Harp two point oh loan modification. Go meet my guy, right? Real estate divorce advisor. Sue your lender. That's not hard. I just found an attorney, right? I found a real estate litigation guy. I made a page for him. I popped in his name. Here you go. Da da da. Here's his rates. Here's his information. I had to put in a photo and a video. I could put anything I want. I could put a. If he had a logo, I'd put it up here. I could put a photo and a video. Hi, my name is Jonathan Meyer, and I can help you. Da da. I could put anything I want on this page. It's easy, and. It's easy for me and you. We're not HTML computer people. I get it. Right? We're realtors. But that's the way my system works. That's why my company is called Simple Listing Solutions. Right? And today we're just talking short sales. So I want to show you guys some short sale tools to give you some ideas. And you can come over here to simplelistingsolutions.com, look at them, rip them off, copy my ideas if you want to. Come over here and say, whoa, what a great idea. And just copy the format. You can't steal my language, but you can just get the concept. Right. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on offline marketing. And, you know, I'm going to show you a tool, two tools, dirt cheap tools, right? Corrugated plastic bandit signs, right? 
Corrugated plastic bandit signs you can nail up on a telephone pole. Avoid foreclosure. Have your lender forgive your debt. Sell your home. Pay nothing. Owe nothing. Save credit. You know, people sitting in their car, they can just call the toll-free number. Hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm a foreclosure alternatives advisor. And if you owe more than your home is worth, like, did you know that I can help you possibly get paid thousands of dollars, save your home, and ch -ch -ch -ch. leave your information. I'd love to call you back. Wow. What do I got to do to do that? Get the signs made up, go stick them out in the middle of the night, and hang them up a little bit higher on a telephone pole than a homeless guy can reach and pull down and turn into his sign because he will, right? I, I tell you, I haven't done that. I mean, I haven't not done this stuff. I keep a two-foot step stool in the back of my thing with this little hammer gun that I've got. Bam! And I do it in the middle of the night because I can go out in the middle of freeway intersections where people can never get to my sign and all the cars are going to see. Boom, boom, boom. And I get my signs up in strategic locations where they're not coming down. Right? And, you know, that's just a sign. Right? Anybody can do that. You don't need crystal data. That's just a business card. Owe more than your home is worth. Can't afford to pay. Get the truth about your options. Right. Now, I know how to use the card in different ways. I could put it in thank you cards, right? I could go, shoot, I could go down to the mall and put these on every car door in the parking lot if I wanted to. I could knock on doors and I could hand them out to people with some real good dialogue skills to help me execute at a really high level when I'm knocking on NODs, right? Hey, can I give you guys a few of these and ask you to think about who you might know here in the neighborhood that could use, you know, my free services? I don't just short sale homes, right? We help people save their homes through loan modifications. It's free. It's free service if they qualify. It's not a problem. I got people on my team. Oh, right. I'm not here to breathe commission breath on you guys. Unless, of course, the notice of trustee sale has been filed and there's a foreclosure sales date already set, then it's time for you guys specifically to make a move, and I'm here to talk to you about it. I can help. But it's time to take action today, you guys. You can't wait anymore. Right? You have to know what kind of dialogue you're going to use and what door you're going to. You do if you want to convert at a high level. Right. And these are tools, a business card. How many does a thousand business cards? Forty seven dollars delivered to my front door. That's pretty cheap. Right. They don't work, though, unless I hand them out, mail them out. And they work better when I hand them out married to great dialogue. They work better when I mail them out with a little note that's got an important message on it. Right. Execute low level, execute high level. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, you could execute on any note. 1, 2, 5, 0, 4, 10, 10, ding, 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 got another listing, ding, 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 got another listing, ding, 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 got another listing. How do you execute at that high of a level? Well, it has to be a conscious operation. You can't just go out and go out, right, if you want to execute at a high level. You want to be armed with great dialogue. You want to be armed with a great personality and a nice smile, right, and then tools can help. But really, it's your habit, your personality, your dialogue, your smile, then the tools. So, okay, cool. And they get the tool, and now here's what happens. They met you at the front door. They liked your dialogue. That was cool. Guy left his card. Nice. Nice. And then you know what that person does? Maybe immediately, maybe the next day, maybe two days later. You know what that person does? They go over to your website. They go up here and they go, yeah, that agent that came by the other day, the card that's laying here with the book on the table, I want to go over their website. And they look at it and they go, oh, yeah, there's the book. Oh, yeah, there's the agent. Oh, yeah. And they play the video. Hi. Ha, da, 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 da. And they go, yeah, that's the agent that came by, honey. Look, this is the guy that came by, right? And uh, he's just told me in the video that don't be afraid of the book. It's not a spam trap. He doesn't share my information with anybody. I like the guy. He sounds like a consultant, not a salesperson. I'm looking at his page here. Oh, look, real. Oh, he's also a divorce advisor. This guy is like really savvy. Huh? Half a short sales. Forty-five, huh? $45,000, uh, right? The person that you met and handed the business card to, they will come over here and convert because now this website is a stage that supports you. Yeah, that's the guy that came by. Or, oh, this is the guy you're referring to us, right? Those people, they'll come over here and they'll become a listing. Right now, so don't say to me, Chris, how's the SEO? Can I drive a bunch of traffic over there? Why would you spend money doing it? Yes, you can. And there's all kinds of things you can do to trick this things out. SEO certainly could do that. But I'm just going to tell you why. Why? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to ask you. You're going to get a bunch of strangers coming over here, and it's a different effect. It's not the same effect as the stranger who met you yesterday at the front door who's following your instructions and going to your website. It's not the same as the guy you just talked to on the phone who said, hey, that was a good conversation. Your dialogue skills really impressed me. They won't say that. They'll think it. And then they'll go, okay, I'll check out the guy's website. Because they met you. They talked to you. The referral. That's how this website converts. That's how all real estate websites converts because there's a connection. There's a relationship. Sellers come from relationships. 
even if it was just formed at the front door in over five minutes yesterday. Sellers come from relationships, not the internet. Right? Do you need a website? Yeah, I got this one. So when I talk to them, they can go over there and go, oh yeah, here's the book he promised. Here's the stuff. This is the guy. That's why I have a website. Right? And you can search for homes if you want to. Go ahead and search the MLS. I work with buyers. So they might want to search the MLS. Right? Home Finder. That's a whole nother system. I can talk about buyers. Right? You know what kind of buyer I want to work with? Five star buyer. 20% down payment or better. They know when they want to purchase, what they want to purchase, and they're pretty much ready to go, and they're going to sign a buyer broker agreement. Those are the buyers I work with, and I know how to get them. I know how to get them. Look, well, I'm not going to show you that. Yeah, I will, you guys. I'm going to show you that. Let's come over here to find my Delmar home real quickly, right? Because I want this to be more of a, a marketing class for you guys today. Listen, this just says, because this may apply to your market, this says a proactive agent with the right system can find the home you want even when it's not on the market. Most real estate buyer agents will set you up with automated home updates matching your general search criteria that gets sent to your inbox and then go look for another client. That's not me. Right? It says, <laughs> in today's market of limited inventory and fierce competition, that's just not a winning game plan. In fact, I've found that sometimes the very best way to find the home you want is to go asking for it. That's right. When you know what you want and have the means to obtain it, I'll go looking for it. That means knocking on doors, sending letters, and leaving notes on the doorsteps of every home matching your needs. Is your agent doing that? You know, 10 out of 10 buyers are going to say, no. You know they are. No. <laughs> My agent's just sending me automated home updates. Yep. I know. And then it says, if not, fill out the form right here or give me a call and put me to work finding your Del Mar home. Listen, you can't move into Del Mar for less than a million dollars. Right? So, and put me to work finding your Del Mar home. This page is called Find My Del Mar Home. Right? I've got other pages. Find My La Jolla Home. Find My Encinitas Home. Right. It says, my team will walk, knock, and talk looking for the home you want and need, so put us on your team today. Right. And then I built this form. We know what's your price range, what you're looking for, finance required, are you fully approved? You know, I can build any questions I want into this form on this website. It's easy. I can make my own custom forms. But check it out. This isn't a system to just get buyers who want to buy a home in Del Mar that have a down payment that will sign a buyer broker agreement. Right. I'll show you how I get them to come over here. Right. That's not hard either. But this isn't just a system to get million dollar buyers in Del Mar. This is a system to get listings in Del Mar because when I can get a list of interested buyers in Del Mar, now I can go mailing for listings in Del Mar. I have buyers. Currently, I have three families who want to purchase a four bedroom, three bath home with ocean views. They're fully approved to a million five and a million eight. They need to move between do you or your own. Oh. Right. There's no more powerful dialogue than that to go get a listing if you're going to knock on doors. There's no more powerful letter to write than that to get a listing. I've got the buyer. If you've got the property, I can save you a bucket load of money right now and we can marry the two of you guys together and make this happen. Right. I'm a marketer with a real estate license. So I don't want buyers, I want sellers in Del Mar. But I'll take million dollar buyers with a down payment. <laughs> and then I will leverage, and they're, they're good enough by themselves, but that's not enough. Because as a marketer with a real estate license, I'm going to try and leverage them into, I'm going to go get a listing and double end this thing. Hey, I got the buyers. Right. So what I do at Simple Listing Solutions, you guys, it's more than I can give you in a webinar. Right. Today, we're just talking about short sales. Right. We're not talking about how to go get divorce lists. That's a never-ending list of prospect stream. It'll never end. Every month, you can just get a new lists of everybody just filed for divorce. And you can start sending them letters. What letters would you send them? I got the letters already set up. Probate people, same thing. I got the letters already set up. <laughs> Boomers and, and seniors that need to downsize, you want to be a crisis certified agent, mail to them, I got that set up. You want to go do seminars, I'll teach you how to go get them. I What I do is I help agents get listings right, for less than a tank of gas. Right, every month, less than a tank of gas. I'm on your team. And I bring these kinds of tools and technology to you to help. And I don't just dump them on you and say, good luck, because you won't figure it out. Even if you're a PhD rocket scientist, you might, but probably not, because it's too much stuff. It's like backing up a dump truck in your driveway. Beep, beep, beep. Here's your Facebook plugins. Here's your Craigslist ads. Here's your YouTube training. Here's your squeeze page. It's unlimited. you got thousands of them. Here's your websites. Here's your how to set up. Your... You'd be like, what? Where do I even begin? And Because I've seen it happen. I've stood up by there on a stage at these three-day main events with Joe Stumpf, hundreds of them watching people sign up, right? Going, wow, look at that chaos back there at the back of the tables. And I see them. 
285 page workbook, 17 hours of videotapes, 19 days of audio training. Da, 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 da. I've walked into offices where it looks like they're trying to land a rocket on the moon. I'm like, what's going on on those whiteboards? Oh, that's the Craig Barker system. What? Looks like you guys are trying to figure out some math equation on how to land your smartphone on Mars. It's like, what is that stuff? <laughs> well, we're trying to figure it out ourselves. Why didn't you just go knock on a door? Right? Get a listing. So um, that's what I help agents do. That's what I help agents do. I help them get listings. Um, and I help you guys get short sale listings. And it's pretty cool because these websites, they come with stuff that's like, <laughs> so I'll just show you. If you're an agent using my system, where you have one of these websites, you could do anything you want with it. You could come over here, you could log in, right? You go like this. Let's just log in as an agent using the system. And there's a built-in CRM in the back, right? Lead center, getting dripped on, automated drip campaigns. And all these short sale ebooks and fight your bank ebooks, you're the author. They're ghost written for you. So when you send these books to people, they're great books. They're written by you. They got your logo, all your stuff in them. Thanks for reading my book. No, keep it a secret. And since it's an ebook, they they share it. It's viral. Right? Spreading you around. So you can come back in here and you can log into your back office and you can say, oh, my lead center, right? Here's all my leads getting dripped on. You know, I could see they opted in for the short sale book or the fight foreclosure book or, you know, maybe a free home value report. I could see and I could turn the drips on or off if I need to or I could download all my leads, you know, in an Excel spreadsheet. I could do whatever I want, right, from my back office. From my back office, I could, you know, I could letters. I could go to my letter library. Right. And I could send, I got short sale letters. I got letter farm letters. I got letters to send out to my center of influence through my newsletter. I got divorce letters to send to divorce people. I got probate letters to send to probate people. Right. I got letters. They're right in my back office. All I need to do is open them up, put in my logo, my contact info, my stuff, and they're done. I don't need to recreate the wheels already done. Right? And constantly being new tools added. Right. My newsletter, I just go click download the monthly newsletter. Right. And then I say, oh, the November edition is here. I'll, I'll print it out in 11 by 17 format because all I have to do is print and send. Right. That's the new habit I have to develop. The newsletter is already made for me. I don't have to do anything to it except print it and send it. Right. Insert a letter into it, print it and send it. Right. The welcome mat, bringing your best life home. This thing is so cool. It folds up like, look. There's, there's one page. There's page one, right? This is the back cover, but mailing label goes right there. This thing folds up. It goes out in the middle of the size of a postcard, right? Sorry. goes out like that. The size of a postcard. Boom. There's a the label done. Two folds. It's in the mail, right? And look, there's the inside pages, right? There's the outside pages. You know, with my compliments, Crystal Veda team, inside this issue, down there on my real estate sign. By the way, get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Short Sales. Just visit my website, right? You see what I'm looking at down here? Go get a free copy of my book. Go get a free home value report. Thanks for not keeping me a secret. Your referrals are the lifeblood of my business. I help people save their homes for free. Thank you, thank you. Right? And then, boom, mailing label in the mail. Out. Out the door. There's a done. Right? But before I send it out, I'm going to stick a letter into it because it's not just a newsletter. It's also a delivery vehicle for my handwritten or that typed letter that I showed you guys. Hey, dear friends, quick note. Do, do, do. If you know anybody going through divorce, hey friends, quick note, do do do. If you know probate, I got two killer options. Hey friends, quick note, do do do. Banks are really trying to modify loans now because they're tired of getting sued by the attorney general, and now's a great time to try and modify if you haven't tried. I can help people. It's free. Do do do. Right. So my newsletter, it's a delivery vehicle. Right. It's like a peanut butter sandwich. Right. My letter is the peanut butter, and the newsletter is the bread. And now I'm actively, consciously, purposely. Right at a very high level, executing, walking out into my apple orchard once a month and go boom with my newsletter. Bat here you go, boom. Right, that's how it works. That's being a marketer with a real estate license. Right, so you just go and download my newsletter. I don't want to print it in eleven by seventeen format. I don't want to print it in the eight and a half by eleven. It's thick in an envelope. Yeah, hey, that's a good idea. You can do that too. Right, can I email this? <laughs> We're turning this into a killer e-newsletter right now. Absolutely, you can e e email it. Uh, do both. You email it out to your list and then send the print. No problem. All right. So, uh, you know, that's how easy it is. There's a newsletter. You can come down here and say, well, how about where do I get all those tools? Oh, just click on downloads. You want your business card? You want to download your short sale ebook in Spanish and English, the fight foreclosure book, the top dollar report, how to get top dollar in a hot market? You want to download that business card? It's right here.
waiting for you. Uh, you can just send it to your printer, ready to go. Now I'm going to show you guys something here uh, that you can walk away with that, that can also help you make a lot of money in real estate. But this is how your cards and your tools are. They're just hanging out in your back office waiting for you to print them. Right? That's a simple business card. You could just send it to Vistaprint online and say, hey, you guys here, I just uploaded my card. I'm with Coldwell. Would you put Coldwell on the other side? Okay, Psh, in the mail, 47 bucks, a thousand of them on the way. Front door, delivery. Right? It's real simple. And then you go, Chris, what was that dialogue? Hey, how do you, I know you know somebody, but maybe, they, what, what did Chris say? How do you get that dialogue? I just said, well, you can call me up and ask me, but you could also just go into your back office and go over to the Click Training Video Library and go, Watch the dialogue, right? <laughs> and you just master it yourself. You can go learn Craigslist, YouTube, all kinds of stuff back here. Go watch the video. But I'll be on your team. You can contact me too. I'm not going anywhere. I'm on your team. So is David, your IT support guy. We're right here hanging out for you. Craigslist ads. You want to know how to run these Harp 2.0? Oh, you know what? No, Craigslist, they just changed their rules recently. I'm not going to talk about that. Um, but we'll find a way because we're rocket scientists over here. Uh, so there's all kinds of stuff going on back here. Customize my website content. Chris, uh, I'm not working in, uh, let's see, edit. Let's go open up my home page. This is how easy. You don't need to know HTML. Chris, I don't work in Orlando. Why would you put that there? I work in Sarasota. Oh, okay. Well, let's just go make that say Sarasota. Right? Type, type, type. I'm not putting in any HTML email code. Now I'm just going to click submit. Right? That's pretty easy. Right? So if we go over here and reload, right, we're not going to work in Orlando anymore. Right? It's going to change here in a second as soon as my computer catches up to us. But so my ability to edit now I'm in Sarasota, right? See that? Right? I can do anything I want to my website. I can come back here and say, that's cool. Now I'm in Sarasota. But Chris, that's not enough. I just changed brokerages. I say, OK, well, just which brokerage did you change to? Oh, Keller Williams. OK, well, just go pick Keller Williams, click and just click submit. And it'll put the Keller Williams logo and colors and stuff up there. You can just click the button. Right? Or you can change the website color yourself. You can say, hey, that black is kind of gloomy. And let's go like this, you know, let's, I don't know, let's do something like that and make my background color blue, right? And I could go like that and, you know, it's really easy. And I mean, it's just nothing is difficult. There's nothing I can do to my website. Add as many pages as I want, take them off, build new pages, change my brokerage, whatever. Deliver free ebooks, deliver free home value reports, deliver <laughs> newsletters, postcard, everything. It's all in here, right? It's all in here. And I continuously add to this system. Hey, Chris, I don't want the short sale ebook on the homepage offer. I want that to be the top dollar reporter, the fight for close. Okay, go ahead. Right? How do I put in keywords, meta tags? How do I SEO this thing? It's pretty easy. I'll show you. Don't worry about it. Can I link my blog over here? Of course you can. Right? There's nothing you can't do to the website. Nothing you can't do to the website. But it's not just the website because there's also thousands of squeeze pages. You can, unlimited squeeze pages, you can build your own or I give you them for going after the senior market, for going after divorce market, pro bay market, individual standalone squeeze pages. Like what's a squeeze page? I'll show you guys one right here. Let's just go over here to oaklandshortsale.com. This comes with the system. <laughs> this comes with the system, right? This says you're about to discover how you can sell your home at its current market value, avoid foreclosure, save your credit, know your lender, absolutely nothing for free. There's a video, you can watch it, or you can read the listing getter letter. Right? And you can learn all about short sales and foreclosure and how to avoid foreclosure and get great information. Take this simple one-minute quick qualifier, see if you qualify for a half a short sale, get $4,000. Are you a recourse or a non-recourse? Do you know and do you know the difference and why it's important? Right. So on this letter, there's a bunch of information, plus get a free copy of my book, The Homeowner's Guide to Real Estate Short Sales. Inside my book, you'll learn childish simple steps You know, for short selling your home. You can do it on your own. Right? You'll receive sample distress letters. You'll learn the eight crucial steps that must be taken. Why choosing the wrong buyer can kill your chances. What the banks want to see. Right? How to determine if your agent doesn't have a clue. You'll discover the key criteria banks look for when deciding whether or not you know, to accept or reject. You'll learn the method you should be using to get a proper valuation. Right? The secret technique myself and a few other top producers use to sell homes for above the asking price in any market. You'll learn how to get a team of experts to handle the entire process for you at zero cost. Right. You'll learn the four key questions all asset managers need answers to in order to prove any short sale on your home and a boatload more. Right? By acting quickly, you can get all the help you and the advice you'll ever need absolutely free. Just give me your information. I'll send you over my book. Let's wrap this up. You can have a team of experts helping you avoid foreclosure in less than 20 hours for free. Right? So this is a standalone squeeze page. Right? comes with the website. You get a website, you get a squeeze page, right? you get a thousand squeeze pages.
business cards, ebooks, newsletters. So that's what I do over here and a whole lot more at Simple Listing Solutions. Right. So check it out because I'm going to give you guys something. I'm going to give you a discount code here if you want what I have. And if you don't want what I have, that's great. I hope you got some great ideas today. Um, if you want what I have, uh, I, I want you to want what I have, and I would love to join your team for 2014. We get this stuff all set up for you, so by January 1st, you're ready. Well, before January 1st, you're ready to rock. Next week, you're ready to rock. Right. Here's what would happen. If you came over, and by the way, everything I've shown you and a whole lot more is included. There's nothing not. You can't come over here and sign up for something and say, hey, I signed up for something, but I didn't get all that stuff. No, there's only one thing you can sign up for over here, and what you sign up for, you'll get everything. Okay, so let's just make that clear. You'll get the senior stuff for going after the senior market. You'll get the stuff for going after the probate market. You'll get stuff for going after divorce listings. You'll get stuff for going after short sale listings. Right? You'll get stuff for going after buyers, five star buyers. Right? You'll get and the support you need to make it all fly. Right? So when your market changes, you're not just a short sale pony. Right? You got all kinds of stuff. Right. So if you came over here to sign up for my system today, you could just come over here and click sign up. And I got a really reasonable rate. It's $597 one-time setup fee. You pay that one time and you're in business. Right. In fact, this stealth website, you can have a bunch of them. I'll say, I won't give you one. You need three of them for three different markets. We can work that out. I'm not going to charge you a new setup fee every single time. We'll increase your monthly a little bit, but you can have 10 websites. <laughs> right. So you could come over and you could sign up. And you'd see that there's a one-time setup fee of just $597. And the monthly licensing fee is $39 a month. It's month to month. There's no contract. You can say, Chris, I'm getting out of real estate. Turn it off. And we'll say, okay, well, we're sorry to see you go. And boom, it's off. Right. Now, um, if you guys want to take advantage of this today, you, I'm going I'm to make this much easier for you. Right. Uh, you don't need to pay $597 one-time setup fee. Right. Although I imagine all of you have websites right now that you probably paid more than $597 that don't translate into any language. You can't build as unlimited pages, insert video, photo. You can't do any of this stuff, right? And including have IDX, right? So, um, you know, consider that. Factor that into your decision making. But um, if you do this today, I'm going to say you, I'm going to save you some money, right? In fact, I'm going to save you a lot of money. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a nice little discount code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this payment in half for you. Right? And so here's what you guys could do if you want to take advantage of that offer. Um, you could go to simplelistingsolutions.com, like I'm going to do right now, my homepage. And uh, let's just go over there and make it a little faster. All right, so from simplelistingsolutions.com, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here in the address bar, and I'm just going to put a forward slash, and I'm going to write the word offer, right? And then I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to take me over to simplelistingsolutions.com forward slash offer. And that takes me to this offer code page, and I'm going to give you an offer code right here. And the offer code is action3, like take action, All right? Whoops. Action, yeah, action three. So that's the offer code. And if you click submit with action three, that didn't work. Let's just try it one more time. Action three. Let's see if that has not expired. Boy, that, that's an expired action code, isn't it? That's okay. I'm still going to give you the same deal, you guys. But what I'd, in fact, love to do before you sign up, Right, if you want to sign up, I'd actually like to talk to you first, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, because you can say, hey, Chris, this is where I'm at. This is my marketplace. This is my resources. That Tell me a little bit about your business, and then I'll, I'll, I'll share with you some ideas on how you can use this stuff and I'll help you get signed up. But what I'll do for you, um, if you guys give me a call, right, give me a call, and um, I'll probably have to call you back because I'll be on the phone when you call, but I'll call you back. Right? You can call me over here on the toll-free number. And um, I'll get on the phone with you, and I'll give you a personal discount code you can use. And what that discount code will do is cut this payment in half. Right? I'll make it two ninety seven instead of five ninety seven. Right? I can even break it up into a couple payments for you. Right? No interest. I'll make it easy. Right? So I want to come on to your team, and all I need to do is get you one listing. Right? One listing. Think about it. 
300 bucks, 40 bucks a month, really? I mean, <laughs> that pays for me a hundred times, right? So um, if you guys are interested, give me a call and I'll follow up with you today. We'll get you going. We'll get you all set up for 2014 so you're a listing getting machine. And uh, we'll, we'll get you, you know, short sale centric focused right now if that's your marketplace. Uh, and I'll be on your team. I don't assign a coach to you. It's me, right? It's me. And uh, you'll know how to get a hold of me and it won't be hard. And uh, Dave will be on your team. So you, you won't get lost needing IT support either. That's what we do over here. We keep it simple. So, yeah, give me a call at Simple Listing Solutions dot com and I'd love to connect with you and I hope you got some great ideas today go do good work and um, thanks for not keeping us a secret we're hanging out we haven't gone anywhere we've been here for six years and you can go talk to agents using our tools and you can go google us and do your due diligence in fact you ought to right and you want to talk to agents I can give you plenty of referrals not, not a problem okay thanks you guys go do good work I hope to talk to you soon bye